<clears throat> hey guys, what is up and welcome to a new League of Legends video. Now in this one, I wanted to talk about a pretty big post made by Riot, right? Now, of course, we know the preseason's coming out relatively soon, right? About, I don't know, maybe a month or two or something like that. I'm not entirely sure, but it's, it's around the corner, right? And the preseason is known to have just a ridiculous amount of just massive changes coming to League of Legends, but it seems like they're adding even more. On top of just in-game changes, like the rune uh, rework stuff coming in, for instance, they're also doing stuff kind of outside the game, right? So for instance, this is probably one of the biggest changes uh, League has had for a long time outside of the game. They're removing the level 30 cap, right? That's probably the biggest one. They're also merging IP with Blue Essences and among other small changes here and there. So let's quickly talk about that. So what's the big picture, right? There's a whole post. I'll link it down below. You guys can check it out for yourself. But I thought I'll talk about this because it's honestly, it's, it's a pretty massive change, right? The League cap has always been, like your summoner cap, the level has always been 30. Always. For just what, seven years now? Seven and a half years now? Whatever it is. It's, it's, for, it's a long time, man. So they're finally removing the cap. You can see here, which is just, I think, really cool. And they're also merging IP with Blue Essences. So what do they actually do? What does it actually mean? So check it out here. So here's the big picture. Sometime last year, we started to look into the big, long-lasting problems players have had with some of the oldest and most fundamental systems in League, specifically IP, rewards, and leveling. A few things quickly became clear. Spending IP on runes just doesn't feel as good and comes at the expense of unlocking champions, which is true. I mean, I think the current uh, rune system is... Uh, pretty bad, actually, that you can only use IP for that. Uh, grinding to unlock champions takes too long, which is 100% true. Lots of players have huge IP bounces with nothing to spend it on, which is 100% true. I have almost 200,000 IP on my main account because I've been playing the game for too long. And the leveling system hasn't aged well and offers nothing to long-time players, which is also 100% true. I mean, at this rate, let's be honest, who is in level 30, right? So let's talk about how they're going to save this. So first of all, as you guys I'm sure already know, they are going to be making the runes free once the preseason does hit. Uh, and giving you rewards based on how much you invested, uh, uh, how much IP and all that stuff you've invested in buying the runes up until this point. Um, we're also introducing uncapped leveling. This is, in my opinion, the biggest change uh, other than the fact that the rune system is just getting reworked uh, fully. So remember the level 30 cap? Well, it's gone, and it's being replaced with a, with a revamped reward system that levels up with you. Instead of getting IP after every game, you'll receive an unlocked chest called a capsule every time you level up. These capsules contain champ shards and blue essence, and if you hit special milestones, um, you'll earn special rewards like gemstones or, as they say, hella rare emotes, right? Because the new emote system is also coming out. You guys, I'm sure, know about that. They can essentially just use, um, instead of masteries coming up, the mastery icon or whatever, emotes will pop up based on... Uh, you, you essentially pick four of them, and you, you pick, you know, the four, the one of the four that you want to use in-game uh, off of your wheel that you can pick, you know, on um, the actual client itself, right? That's kind of how the new emote system will work. There's a bunch of uh, ones to choose from. Uh, following that, they're going to say that they're finally going to merge IP with the Blue Essence. You'll be able to spend the new currency, which is still called Blue Essence, or BE, on all things you could previously buy with IP or Blue Essence. Everything in the store costs the same as before. For example, it'll be 6,300 Blue Essence for a newer champion like Kane, right? So those are the bigger changes, but I still, I still think the level 30 cap, the fact that they're like essentially lifting it, is pretty massive because now... like. Because at the moment, honestly, when you're playing League of Legends, you're playing it mainly uh, just farm IP, which it's a grind fest. It takes too many games, right? But actually having the chance to like finally consistently just keep leveling and leveling, because the way that the mind works is just having something to level up for, having like a, a milestone to look forward to consistently, is it's always a good thing. It, it always feels like you're playing for something, right? There's more stuff to play for, which is a good feeling in, in terms of just like the mindset or like a psychological thing. Rather than just being capped at 30 and it feels like you're kind of playing for almost nothing just for the fun component of it, I guess. But um, that's not always enough, right? You, you usually want something to really kind of strive for, if you will. Um, so why give rewards for leveling, you ask? Well, there's a few reasons we're uh, nixing the level cap and tying rewards to leveling system. First, we want to give players something to work towards beyond just champions. If reaching high levels uh, earns you something cool like a unique emote, you're more likely to feel recognized for your time investment, which is true. We also want to focus the rewards experience around content drops that feel far more substantial and cool when you earn them, which is also really true. So if you get if you can get only like a specific skin or emote or whatever, just based off of getting only, let's say, level 100 of your summoner level, that'll feel a lot more cool and rewarding than if, you know, in theory, anyone can actually get it, just maybe by the roll of the dice. So with champ shards specifically, you'll get to experience that lucky feeling of getting the shard for exactly the champion that you're saving for anyways, and the shard will give you a 20% discount. <clears throat> and since you can disenchant champion shards into uh, BE, Blue Essence, 
and then use that to buy whatever you want, you'll still have the freedom to spend however you want. Additionally, the new system will let us tailor rewards to different types of players. For instance, we've repeatedly heard that newer players just need more help unlocking champions. So if you're a noob, you can, uh, we can very specifically tune the capsules at the earliest levels to give you lots more champions that'll serve as a stronger starter characters. Similarly, if you're, ha if you're a higher level player, we can customize rewards to give you exclusive showy offy stuff, which is what I want personally. I have every single champion, I have almost all the skins that I personally want. I have 200,000 IP, so give me something, you know, I want something. As someone that's been playing this game for seven years, I want some, some kind of reward, you know? I want something to play for, uh, towards, or play for, or whatever. I want something, I want that feeling of just earning something from my time commitment, you know? Other than, of course, ranked. Because not everyone plays ranked. Uh, but why merge IP with Blue Essence? Okay, who cares? Are there any other crazy changes? Well, there's a few. Loot rebalancing. Since you'll be getting so many... Um, since you'll be getting so many more shards thanks to the new leveling system and with other recent changes to honor and events, we'll tune down the relative value of the essence you get from disenchanting shards of all types, champion shards, skin shards, and ward skin shards. In the current system, okay, who cares about that? Honestly, it's too much, too much reading for, I don't really feel like uh, worth it information. Uh, champion earn rate and bouncing, this is all talking about like the loot system, which I personally don't use at all. Um, so you guys, you know, if you use it yourself, you can definitely check it out yourself. Uh, and a few final things to keep in mind. Since the store is keeping the price ranges from the old IP-based system, so 6300 BE instead of IP for a champ like Zaya, we need to scale up the amount of blue essence you get when disenchanting shards. So the cool thing is that fact that now not only do you get um, these, this currency, I guess, to get champions, uh, just through playing League of Legends, I'm assuming, but you can also get it through the whole uh, disenchanting and the loot system in League of Legends as well. So it's, like a, it's a faster way and an easier way to get it. Right now, you can only get a couple hundred BE uh, blue essences when disenchanting most champion shards, but that number will be much higher after we merge BE with IP. It'll feel like you're getting loads more out of the shards, but it's really just balancing to help BE maintain its spending power. So what about the blue essence in currently in inventory? Well, when preseason hits, we'll uh, scale it up proportionally, multiplying it by about 6.5 times when calculating your new BE account of balance. So if you're at already 975 BE in loot, we'll convert it to 6300 when preseason hits, which is pretty cool. And on a final note, since IP is becoming Blue Essence, which is now tied to leveling, we're going to stop selling IP boost starting now. So if you currently have an IP boost active, they'll turn it into an XP boost when preseason hits. XP boost will also be repriced to cost what IP boost do today. So there you guys have it. Pretty cool information. Uh, some pretty massive changes coming to League of Legends. Again, just the fact that the I, uh, level cap is going to be just completely lifted, just raised to like, I don't know what cap, honestly. I don't even know if there is a cap. Um... It's pretty cool. I like that a lot. You know, it's gonna have, I'm assuming, really cool icons to show off based on what level you are, which is also really cool. And I think it's just more things to look forward to and just kind of more reasons to want to play League of Legends, which is always a good thing. So let me know what you guys think about this down below in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, hit it with that like button and uh, subscribe if you haven't. Check out my other videos as well. But thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video. Peace, peace, peace.